This is the Tri-Series for the Rimac E-Runner Concept 1. It's going to be an interesting one. Hey, I'm Mike. This week's Tri-Series is for the Rimac E-Runner Concept 1. It could potentially be a great car. We don't know that yet though. It's certainly high RQ. I've got a slightly different dynamic this time because halfway through I'm going on a holiday to Istanbul and that is going to make competing much more difficult. First out, we've got the Quals. Quals is Chevrolet and Ford. Tier 1 is getting the pack for the final, which is an Audi final, European Grand Tour. On top of that, you can pick up an epic Audi, you can pick up an ultra Audi, or a super rare Audi, you get the picture, it's all Audis. What we're potentially looking at is two city cars and a motocross car and another dirt car and a drag car. It's all a bit of a thing. At the moment, I've gone with these cars. I think this is my best option. I've got the Ford Bronco R, I've got the Ford F-150 Raptor, and I've got the Chevrolet I've got another Chevrolet Cobalt and I've got the prize car Chevy Copo Camaro which has one upgrade in it and could be my key car here. Let's jump in. Okay, let's not mess around, let's just play these five tickets and get out. So this is two city streets but one is sand, that's okay. That's a big loss on the drag. Okay, that was a big win though. 65th after one win. I'm not a big fan of this double city streets thing. I think I'm going to swap out one of my city streets cars because I got um, a pretty hefty loss there using that car on the long drag. So what I think we're going to do is work out a way we can add in something good on the drag that we'll lose on the city streets, but hopefully other people will only be taking one city streets car. We'll give this one a go. So yes, this is two city streets tracks, but he's got a low car on there, so it's not a trouble. I think in the main, the top players are going to be taking one city streets car and two really fast cars. Anyway, that was a 394 win with two for zero. I'm not sure that is the right hand though. I would like to take my better Chevy Corvette. We fit that in. That's a pretty good fit, I think. So now we've got one city streets car, but we've got two really good cars. And that was good timing because that is a car park and a one mile. Right, here we go. Let's see how this hand feels. I fear it's going to feel quite well because the competitor is relatively easy to beat. Okay, 26th and 3 0. Cash, cash, and a Merc. Let's go again. Right, two city streets, they're both medium, they're both medium, they're both medium. Okay, but he's got a um, performance tyre car on the motocross, so it's going to be a big win. Okay, that's a win for my city streets. That should be a good win. On the one mile, it is 91. My Corvette just takes it. Good. Well done, Corvette. Even though it was low. Okay, so that's a big win because of the motocross track. Let's get three more cards. Okay. Got one more to play. Right, I have put some upgrades in that legendary Corvette, but unfortunately I put them in the handling. So it's not going to be much use on the drag stuff. 
I really want to put it on the city streets small though, not the medium, just because there's less speed bumps. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get a loss and we'll get a win. This should win. It does, 60 points. And we'll get a loss on the other city, but that's okay. I'm pretty happy with this hand, I think. Should be good. 15 more to play to get in tier 2, if I can manage that. Top guy has played 7. 7 and 0, 5 and 0. Okay, I'm back. I'm third. I've got 12 and 0. Doing really well, I'm surprised. This hand is doing well for me. I'm in tier 1. Let's keep going. I'm finding quite a few people haven't upgraded or maxed that F-150. Mine is not drag spec. I did mine 233 for some reason. I think just because I've got so many drag spec trucks. But um, it's working out okay for me. That should be alright. Two hundred, one hundred. Just got to get three wins to win, of course. Don't have to beat all of the opposition. Right, this should be this should be okay, I think. We're gonna lose this first one. But we did win by fifty points. Good. Okay, so still in there. That's a new car. Good. Right. What I'll do. If in doubt, I think it's better to play the people with low cars when you get the double city streets. And when you get the single city streets, obviously I'll play the people who have got double um, medium cars. And that makes it a bit easier. I can knock them down a little bit and I shouldn't be um, struggling too much. Should be a pretty good win, I think. My one upgrade in that is paying dividends in the last few months. That was put me in first place, 17 and 0. I like that a lot. I'm not overly taken with the Epic, but I'll take it if I can get it. Okay, here we are. Quals finished. I got tier 1, score 50. That is excellent. That is a free Epic Audi, which may or may not be useful. Fiat, new one. Chrysler, GMC, Audi TT, it's a new one, at RQ61, that's the Audi A4 Quattro, at RQ68, nice, and a second Audi Epic, that's all surface tyres, very interesting, good, two Epics, not bad from one event. Okay, we've got the tune up. I don't have a lot of time this week, so I'm just going to show you the two packs. The round 13 is a ceramic, and round 25 is the carbon fiber. Let's do round 13 for the ceramic. Okay, here we go. Monaco Streets is a big win. Good. Right, 392 to 0. Easy win for the ceramic. Let's hope it's something good for the final. Chevrolet. Oldsmobile. Dodge. A lot of American stuff. Porsche. And an Audi A8. Super rare. Not going to be useful in the final. Okay, as I said, not much time this week. So I'm just going to show you round 20 as I complete it. Just throw the cars in. Figure eight in the wet. Some 
win. Twisty circuit for my Audi TT is a win. I'm upgrading some of these cars. I've not got very far with the upgrading, but I am upgrading a few of them as we go. Mainly to fit in with the daily objectives upgrade policies of having to do five upgrades a day. Speed bump, that's my big car at the moment, the R278 Audi. Medium. I get a win for the Audi TT in silver. 350 to zero. Here we go. Carbon fiber. Finals Audi tagged. Saturn. Dodge. Ford Falcon. Audi 100 Ultra Rare and an Audi A7 Quattro Ultra Rare. Two Ultra Rares there from a carbon fiber. Okay, let's jump into prelims. Prelims is again for the normal carbon fiber pack. Audi TT Quattro for the Audi A6 Ultra Rare or for the Audi TT etc. This is what I'm going to be using. I've got the Nissan, I've got a Suzuki, I've got an Infiniti, I've got a Mazda, and I've got an Infiniti. The criteria is Japanese rear wheel drive performance cars. So I'm basically taking the best five cars I've got. Let's see how far we can get with this. I don't think my best five cars are the best five cars. So we will see if we can get anywhere near a carbon fiber team. What I should say is I'm starting this event in the UK, but I'm about to go out to Istanbul with my family for a four day holiday. So I'm going to be struggling a little bit to complete some of these events. I'm just gonna have to play tickets when I have them and hope that that works okay for me. The finals will be more difficult because I'm technically coming back during the finals on the Sunday. Okay, that's a win, 392, three stars. Mitsubishi, a Peugeot, and a Jaguar. Okay, a couple of tickets done, let's play the third one. These all look pretty easy still. Reaper of Soul. That's a crazy name. This Nissan is my test bowl car, even though it's a good car anyway. It's a shame I'm not a test bowl, but it is the highest top speed I've got so far. It's working for me. 40th, three and zero. Got a car, some cash and a car. Okay. We'll just keep playing these tickets, rattle through them. Couple of test bowls. Okay. Okay, that's another win. Cash, a car, and more cash. Right, here we go again. Last ticket of this session. Yeah, I haven't met, I'm surprised I haven't met many people with that Nissan upgraded on the test bowl. I certainly haven't got mine upgraded. But that maxed Hayabusa is working for me. Okay, 15th after five. 14th, 15th, well, I mean, five and zero, there's loads of them. Top person has nine and one, six and zero. We're in amongst it. 189 people out of 300 in the bracket though. So it's only just past half full. Okay, I'm back. We've got six hours to go. I'm in Istanbul, things are going to get a bit harder to play now. My Wi-Fi is not as reliable, to say the least. I don't have any mobile data. Okay, 78 points, two, two, eight, that's a win. Right, let's pick up the cards, two cards, okay. Let's keep rattling through this. That should be okay, I think.
Yeah, 250 to zero, good. 16th. Okay, one more drag. G4 slalom, carving test bowl. Okay, good. Two two seven to zero. Twelfth. Let's pick up a couple of cards. Let's just keep running through this, I think. Test bowl, one mile, slalom. Um, G-Force, yeah, so my Infinity is going to lose a bit because it's 3-2-3 um, three, three, and most people are 2-3-3. Three, three. It was pretty much my first Epic that I maxed when I joined playing the game back at the beginning of JPT and I didn't know any better at the time. So it is sort of hurting me a little bit that it loses on most tracks that I put it on. I mean, so for instance here, I will put it on a different track just so that it does win. If I put my Hayabusa on here, that should win. It does. Good. Therefore, that solves the problem. Okay, we're in ninth. Eleven and one. Right, that's that. All done. Okay, we've got 16 minutes to go. Weirdly, somehow, I'm in tier two. I wasn't expecting... To be in tier two, I guess I've got a pretty easy bracket. We'll play a couple more tickets. That should be okay. Test bowl. Now he's upgraded his Mazda. I'll have to take a loss on it, I guess. It's the best place for it. And he's got a 323 Infinity as well. That's interesting, interesting. Okay, that's a win on the karting for the Infinity, the Black Infinity. 213 to 50, we're in fourth. We're not going to hit tier one, but I'm very pleased with tier two. That's very unexpected. Okay. Yeah, so I'm in Istanbul, the Wi-Fi is flaky, I don't know what's happening here, but I'm... It's taking a while. I will edit bits out that take too long, but... Okay, I'm crashing out of this. Right, we're back with the results of the prelims. Plus 45 is a tier 2, that's a great result, I think, for my hand. We get the carbon fibre, which is all important, and we get an ultra rare. Here we go. Jaguar, Ford, BMW Super Rare, Audi Q4 Super Rare, Audi A6, is that the card? Audi A4, well it doesn't matter, that's two ultra rares anyway, I think it was the first one that was the guaranteed card, but either way they're both pretty much trash. Okay, so I'm going to buy some packs for the final. Because they're new tags, I have some gold. Let's buy some packs. Tri-Series packs are quite appealing because they have boosted odds. Let's open the Titanium, which is big odds. Hopefully a legendary guaranteed and epic though. Ford Bronco. Audi A3. Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Audi A3 Saloon, ultra rare. And the last card is an Audi S6 Avant, IQ74 performance tyres. Not great, but not too bad, I suppose. I do like the Platinums. Let's do the Platinums. I have saved up quite a lot of gold for this Tri-Series. I bought quite a lot of gold, I should say. Hyundai. Audi TT Super Rare. Chrysler Crossfire. Audi TT Quattro Ultra Rare and an Audi RS4. Nice, RQ74. Okay, let's do pack two. Here we go. Volkswagen Jetta. 
Audi A3 Sportback, Chevrolet Monte Carlo, it's come up a few times, Audi A6, that's the price car from the previous prelims, and the Audi S6 Avant. It's hard to tell, the only thing I know is that it's, if it's wish listed, I haven't got it, because some of these Audis all look the same. Here we go again. Lincoln, Audi Quattro, Audi TT Quattro, new ultra rare, Audi S4 Cabriolet, and an Audi A6, nice. Okay, I'll take that. That was another epic. Let's go again. Volkswagen Golf, Audi A6, Jaguar XJR, gorgeous car, Audi A4, and the last card is an Audi A6. Okay, I think this might be the last one of the Platinums. Here we go. Let's hope for something good. Renault Sport, Mazda, Audi A6 Super Rare, Audi A6 Ultra Rare, that's coming up a lot that car, and the Audi A6 RQ61, okay, not great. So we can do 15 more packs, I mean they're not great cars to collect but I do want to win this prize car, I really want it, more so than the next twice series that comes up for the Mazda. Let's go. Chevrolet Code, Oldsmobile, Volkswagen, Audi A6 and an Audi A6. Okay, let's rattle through them. Obviously because they're in my holding pool some of these will be wishlisted but I will own them already. But that doesn't matter. Vauxhall, Dodge, Holden, Audi A6 and last card is an Audi S6. See I'm definite we've had that one in this little session. Never mind. Let's open another. Fiat. Suzuki. Buick. Audi 80 Super Rare. And the last card. Wow! Yes, nice. I mean, it's RQ81. It's a legendary, though. Let's not bag on it. It's a low end legendary, but it is a legendary. Nice. That's my first legendary from the European Grand Tour. I'm really pleased with that. I'm really pleased with that. Peugeot. Citroen. Peugeot 508. Audi S6. And an Audi TT Quattro, which we've had before. Let's go again. Ah, oh, I'm chuffed to bits. I've got a legendary at last. Nissan Cube. Suzuki Swift. Maserati. Audi A6 and an Audi 100. Yeah, I've got some fuse material I'm going to put in that for the finals. What I really wanted is the non four wheel drive cars, but you take what you get. That's a Mazda, that's a Buick. Peugeot Rifter, I like that. All off road tyres, four wheel drive. Audi A3 and an Audi A3. Okay. Yes, I've got some fuse material to put in that, so that might make it slightly better. Certainly put it on par with some of the epics. Di Tommaso, a Bath, Volkswagen, Audi TT, super rare. The last card is an Audi TT Quattro. Okay, I'm hoping the card's luck isn't just running low now. But never mind, Suzuki, Infinity, Maserati, Audi A6, and Audi A4. It does look a bit like it's running dry, but I really want to open all of these 15 packs. So I think we'll keep going. Let's hope that it turns on us a bit there. Luck though, again. Honda, AMC, Suzuki, Audi A6, and an Audi A4, RQ52. Go again, I don't really have a count on how many we've got left packs, but can't be many. Chrysler, Ford Bronco, another Ford Bronco, 
Audi A3 and an Audi A3. Different car. Let's go again. Saturn. Alpha, new, new to me. Alpha, standard tires. Nice. Mazda RX. Audi A4, super rare. The last card is an Audi A4, which we definitely just had a minute ago. Okay, let's go again. I think we've probably got two or three left. Nissan. Honda. Skoda. Audi A3. And an Audi Q7. I don't think I've got that one. Okay. Good. Peugeot. Skoda. Buick. Super at Audi A3. And the final card is that Audi with all service tyres. Here we go again. Lamborghini. Oldsmobile. Peugeot. Audi TT and an Audi A7. Right, this is the last pack. I saw a glimpse of it disappear. Morgan, Buick, Audi A1, Audi Q4, and an Audi A5. Okay, so we've got a lot of cars off the wish list, missing cars. And importantly, we've got three epics and one legendary. One of them is a duplicate, but the other two are very welcome. And that legendary might well help me out in the finals. Whether it's going to get me prize car tier or not is another matter because the stats aren't great. Okay, finals are here. I am in Istanbul. I am traveling tomorrow home. It's going to be problematic. This is the Rimac that we're playing for. There is also a Donkavort, which I'm more likely to get. There's a Lotus and other cars. The track sets. There's a city street track. There's a wet track and there's an off-road track. In some cases, there's two wet tracks. Um, one of the off-road is motocross. So you need high off-road. This is what I'm running. I'm running my Audi RS5, which is 222. I'm running an Audi e-tron epic which is 233 and audi s5 which is 233 and audi q4 standard tires 323 and audi q sq8 which is going to be 323 i just haven't put the final cash in it there you go so that's my hand it's not a bad hand i've got a good off-roader i've got a good standard tire car i've got a good medium car goodish and the other two are pretty good too. So I'm in the mix, I think. Whether I can manage tier two, I don't know. But I've got my one standard tire car, which will mix it up on the twistier stuff. And the other track will just have to be a full ride performance car. When we have a second wet track. That is the first race and it's a loss, but it is a big win overall. 91st place. Let's pick up some cards. Okay. 227 people in a 500 bracket. I'm in 93rd with one win. Guy at the top has 13 wins already. Okay. Let's go again. So that's the motocross track. So we're looking for someone who hasn't got a high ground clearance car on the motocross track, and that will get me some big points. Let's see how this does. It should be an easy win. Yeah, 310 on the motocross track. We don't need to watch the rest. 700 to zero. Okay, 56. Car, golden car. Okay, that's the epic that I really wanted in that first race, the RQ76. But it doesn't matter. What are you sure I'm doing? I suppose the medium would go better on the hill climb, I suspect, but maybe not. I don't know. 
That's a loss, but 444 to 50 is a good win. Cash Cash and a Ford Mustang. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Some people have got, there's a rare in there and a super rare. We're doing okay so far. I do have four maxed epics and a legendary that's had three upgrades in it. A couple of years ago, that would have easily won me the price card. Things have changed though, times have changed. That's my fourth win. Four three star win as well. Go again. Yeah, there's another rare, you see. If there's a rare in your hand, you're really not in the price card tiers, I don't think. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I need to get some wins for this green Audi after I've put all those upgrades in it. Its stats aren't too bad compared to the other Audis, but they're just not setting the world alight. I'd rather not have put upgrades in it, but I really want the Rimac. I'm going to play as many tickets as I can before I have to go to the airport and lose my Wi-Fi connection. And then I will rejoin you back in the UK and see what state of play is with my bracket. Okay, I'm back. I did actually play some in the airport while I was waiting for the luggage. So I've played almost enough tickets. I've got five more to go. I don't believe I'm still in tier one. It's crazy. I've taken two losses, 29 wins. The person in first place is avoiding me, which is awesome. I haven't, I don't know them. It's just cool. They could have been hitting me down there with a much better hand than me, but that is a mega cool thing. Thank you for that if you're watching. I do appreciate it. So let's play those five tickets and that gets us potentially enough tickets to be tier one and tier two, get the prize car. I can't believe I'm still in tier one. It's absolutely insane when you take out the hours I've been in an aeroplane in an airport and without mobile data. That's wicked. Let's play again. I always get a bit scared, the hands, the, the tri-series after an update, because you see people pulling much better cars than you from packs. You know, I mean, posts on Discord and stuff like that. But in the end, that's just a tiny minority of people who are pulling legendaries and multiple legendaries and stuff. Um, in the main, the majority of the player base doesn't. Um, so, reasonably, me throwing all the packs at it, I got that one Audi out of it. And the luck, even though I didn't know it was luck at the time, of picking up my all-surface tyre red Audi and the standard tyre black Audi, they have come through really well for me. That's a 150 to 100 and secures another ticket. Played. Right, let's go again. So this guy has the same green car, but he hasn't put the same upgrades that I've put in it. So that gets me a win because that green Audi is, the legendary is not picking up very many wins at the moment, unless you race yourself basically. However, that red Audi with the all-surface tyres is doing the business. Right, I've played enough tickets to now get the prize card tiers. I'm not seeing myself dropping out of tier one, which is crazy. Really crazy. Okay, we got the results. I can't believe I got tier one. Plus 500 is tier one. It's a double carbon fibre plus the prize car, which looks like a good prize car. Buick, Chevrolet, Mazda, GMC, Alpha, Alpine, Citroen, Super Rare, Morgan, Ultra Rare, Early Ultra Rare, Porsche, Ultra Rare, Aqua, Epic, nice, 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 nice. And there it is, Rimac E-Runner, Concept 1, RQ 107. It's got to be good at that RQ, surely. I'm really pleased with that. I wasn't expecting to win it. I was expecting to be Tier 3, possibly. Maybe even Tier 4. So that's kind of cool. To get a new Epic as well. I've not seen that card before. I don't know where that card came from. Unless it's a new picture. But yeah, I don't remember ever playing against that. But yeah, really pleased to get that. Look at that, it's like fifth in my garage. That's insane. 
That's an insane win. Really pleased. Let's get it to one star and see what the numbers say. 2.099. 2.099. It's electric, so it's a bit heavy, but it's not that heavy. Slick tyres, four-wheel drive. I think that's going to be a great car. Really good car. I can't believe I won it. I honestly can't believe I won it. Travelling in an aeroplane in airports with no mobile data signal in Turkey. That is just mega cool. That is just mega cool. And that's the video done. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Get yourself out of here. We are done.